So yesterday I posted my first video in my C series and somebody asked a question that I've gotten before which is why do we return ones and zeros and why if it's successful is it zero? Wouldn't one be successful? And I can see how this can be confusing, uh, it, you know, wrapping your head around it. it. You might think one is successful, zero is nothing, it's failed. Well, it's actually the opposite way around where zero means that it was successful. And why is this? Because this is an X code, it's an error code, it's going to tell you what went wrong. And if nothing went wrong, we're at zero. We start off at zero. So were there any errors? No, zero. We're all good. We also have to remember that when it comes to binary, we think of binary as ones and zeros, zeros and ones, which really isn't true. It's just two states. It can be anything. Uh, on, on your hard drive, you don't actually have ones and zeros. We just use ones and zeros to represent them. If it's, if it, you know, it's a uh, magnetic hard drive, it's going to be whether it's uh, polarized one way or another. CDs, it's, it's shooting a laser into the disk. Whether that laser comes back or doesn't represents either ones or zeros, ons or offs. Um, you know, with uh, old punch cards programming, it's you either have a hole or you don't. It's ones or zeros, ons or offs. Those are all the same things. They're not actually ones and zeros. It's just one way to represent them. And when we're exiting out of a program or a function, if we return zero, it means success. Why is that? Well, because zero means false. Why would we return a false if things are good? We're, we're saying, are there any errors? No, there aren't. Zero, false. One is generally means it's a general error code. There, something failed. There are other codes you can use in different languages for different things, even negative numbers in some cases, I believe, uh, that may give you a more specific um, you know, code on what went wrong. Uh, but zero means that there were no errors. Everything was successful. If anything else is returned, well, then it was false. So that's the main reason, you know, I'm hoping that helps you think about it. There's different ways you can look at it, but basically, were there any problems? No, zero. Everything's good. Anything other than zero, something happened that shouldn't have happened. So that is why we return zeros uh, as success. And I know that you would think zero is bad. And, you know, again, zero, uh, you're looking at it as like, oh, it's false. Why are we getting a false if things were successful? It's because false on um, problems is one way to look at it. Anyway, I hope that makes helps you think through it. Um, if you have a better way of explaining it, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K, and I hope that you have a great day.